Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Thursday morning, March 18th. We're looking at the market profiles of the SPY, IWM and Triple Q here on Window Trader. Um, and after a day of tremendous gains late in the day, as the S&P and Dow hit all-time highs, I said I expected the market to digest this morning. I'm getting a little bit more than that right now in a couple of the indices. Right now, the Russell right now, the healthiest as it's trading right in the middle. Remember, they all had, we had double distribution days. And right now, the only one that's attempting to hold it is IWM. Now, I'm sorry, Triple Qs did not hold single prints, but they certainly had a price spike above B and C. They're way below that, below their POC right now from yesterday. Russell is in the middle holding their singles, and we're right on top of ours. In fact, over the last, about five minutes ago, we were trading right down towards the lows of the session. They put in a new overnight high on a weird tick again at 398.25. I guess I'll have to use it. Um, so we have a pre-market all-time high in the SPY. So let's go over destinations and a game plan. So for the upside right now, we have, yes, believe it or not, until we get more market-generated information, 398.12, which is yesterday's high and all-time high. So $3 away. And then 398.25, the pre-market all-time high. For the downside, we did have the single prints. Now remember I said the destinations are far and wide apart. So right now I'm going to use the single prints because we're right around them of 395.05 and they get filled at 394.98. Then we have 394.31, D's high, where we were 10 wide from yesterday. Then 394.14, which is our overnight low. 393.42, daily low. 392.03, daily low. 391.20, daily low. So, game plan for this morning. Now, the last couple of days, we had pre-market volume that we, we didn't do a million. Here we are, 75 minutes to go before the opening, and we're at 1.1 million. So the way volume gets cut off at higher prices as week longs get out and shorts start attempting to come in, the volume increases. As a bull, we said we had our line in the sand yesterday, which is B's high. That still holds. For the sellers, they wanted to defend yesterday's high and even the previous all-time high. We said, is this a possible look above and fail? Still remains to be seen. We have a lot coming up today and tomorrow. Don't forget, just before noon today, Powell is speaking again. At one o'clock, we have another bond auction, and then tomorrow we have quadruple expiration and SPY going ex-dividend. So there's a lot more happening. And then, and then at the end of the month, we have the end of the quarter um, to deal with. So, game plan for this morning. Again, there's 75 minutes to go. If we're to open above B's high, and hold the single prints and hold the price spike, I'll take a long. Any acceptance are below it, I'm out of the trade. Because where they will buy is yesterday means they are not there today. Remember, J, K, L, and M, that's such emotional buying. Pure and simple. Again, when the Fed released their statement or the rate decision at 2 p.m., there was no real change in it. And this market just exploded to the upside. And then Powell spoke for over an hour. Nothing much more came out of that but the market just wanted to make new highs. And now here we are after it digests everything and saying, well, uh, I don't know why we just went up like that. So above B's high, even though it's in balance, in value, worst of the risk rewards, that's where the price spike was. See if there's buyers. If when we open, we open below B's high, any push up towards it, I will take a short play. They're gonna have to prove they can get back above B's high then because obviously there won't be buyers there. Again, another push down around POC. We were very wide, very visual. You could take a long against that. And then I would use probably eyes low as my app. You take out eyes low, yesterday's low should fall. Remember, the daily is still just in balance. Monthly and weekly are up for now. Russell, same thing. They're acting better. You could take a long against F's high, which is the single print fill and where change took place. Triple Q is a lot different story. They're way below where change took place, where we had the spike. In fact, they're below their wide pock. 
So we'll see what happens if they push down. Can you take a long against yesterday's low? You can take a long against F's low. I would be out below yesterday's low, though. See if we at least get back to the wide pock if you open and drive down initially, <clears throat> down to there. If you open, drive up, again, I would take a short against B and C's high until they can prove they can get back up above the price spike. And then on the charts, I'm just going to show you the daily. We're in a two-day, right? It's balance. It's basically a two-day balance. <clears throat> yesterday, and really, it's one-day balance. I mean, yesterday's high, we, we had a chance for an outside day up. Not only didn't we get it, we're down two and a half dollars this morning. So yesterday, you know, it's a, it's a two, three day balance, whatever you want to use. If you take out yesterday's high, obviously new highs, and we see if we get distance away from it. If you take out yesterday's low, your next target then is Monday's low of 392.03, and then you see if you get acceptance back into this two day balance. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.